All right, good morning. God bless each and every one of you. It's 8.42, the 11th of February. It's not easy, it's not hard to sometimes forget the month, but we just rolled in it, and it's going by quickly. The 11th already, you know? You guys, things, when they start, you know, and they have started um, changing quickly, um, <laughs> just remember we're watching everything that God has from the beginning preordained for this time that we're in right now. That's why we know, according to the word, the thing that we're going to be seeing, where it says they'll hate their brother, you know, and, uh, Clearly easy to see why and where it's going. When you're not following the crowd, when you're not following, as like in the days of Noah, the whole world was corrupted. Last thing you want to be doing is what the world is doing. Stay separate. Okay? Alright. I got something I want to read. First Timothy uh, chapter five. First Timothy chapter five. All right, here we go. It's all gray and raining. Yesterday, the skies were being uh, bombarded chemicals in front of the sun. I got a little video of it. I don't. I may or may not load it up. I don't know. You guys, we've seen them a lot, but they're they're <coughs> they're poisoning us, is what they're doing. You know. Anyhow, let me uh, excuse me one moment. Okay, you can see the raindrops coming down, right? All right, rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. And the younger men as brethren, the elder woman as mother, the younger as sister, all purity. This is how we're supposed to be treating other people around us, you know, the elders and stuff. And you can tell pretty much who's who by the way they are. Honor widows that are widows indeed. But if any widow have children or nephews, lit let them learn first to show pity at home and require their parents and requite their parents and that is good and acceptable before God now she that is a widow indeed and desolate trusteth in God and continueth in supplication and prayers night and day but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth and these things give in charge that they may be blameless but if any man if but if any provide not for his own and specialty for those of his own house he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel let not a widow be taken into the number under three score years old having been the wife of one man well reported of for good works. If she has brought up children, if she has lodged strangers, if she has washed the saints' feet, if she has uh, relived the affliction, if she has diligently followed every good work, but the younger widow refuse. For when they have begun to wax wanton against Christ, they will marry, having damnation, because they have cast off their faith their first faith, and withal they learned to be idle, wandering about from house to house, and not only idle, but tattlers also, and busybodies, speaking things which they ought not. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give no occasion to the adversary to speak reproach, for some are ready to turn after Satan. And any man or woman that believeth 
have widows, let them relive, relieve them, and let not the church be charged, that it may relieve them that are widows indeed. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially them that labor in the word and doctrine. For the scripture saith, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn. The labor is worth of his reward. Sometimes I wonder when we see these people wearing their mask, you know what I mean? If they ain't they're being muzzled, you know? This is what really uh, puzzles me when I'm seeing. <laughs> it almost looks like masks, like they're all slaves of the beast to me, you know? And are they even sharing the word in these times that we're in right now, you know? Acknowledging the times that we're living in. They're quick to put that mask on. Against the elders receive not an accusation, but before two or three witnesses. We see a lot of that. The mockers and scoffers who are sitting there saying this or this about people. I've got a person out there that's been making videos against me for years. And if you look at them, I'm not even saying nothing. It's them doing all the talking accusations. And they've been trying to get many other people to come against me as well. Them that sin, rebuke before all, that others also may fear. I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ and the elect angels, that thou observe these things without preferring one before another, doing nothing but partitionally. Lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partakers of a man's sins. Keep thyself pure. Think no longer, or drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake in thy often infirmities. Some men's sins are open beforehand going before the judgment and some men they follow after likewise also the good works of some are manifest beforehand and that they are otherwise cannot be hid all right you guys it's cold i gotta shut the door god bless everybody in jesus christ our lord and our savior